Yeah, I've had my say about handy subject and that's an end to it. It's all in the past now. Yep. You look back in a couple of months and you'll wonder what all the fuss was about. <laughs> look, shouldn't you just be worrying about Lisa? Ah, yeah, she's proper pearly up there. Right, well, I've got to get to school. Ah, well, make sure you stop there. I will. Can I have some money, please? What for? It's for new files for my coursework. Eh? Hey? New files for my coursework. Oh, uh, right, right. <coughs> Ooh. So, uh, well, how much? Tell us should do it. A tenner? God, dear. There was a time when schools used to provide all their own gear. Here. Thanks. Look, I know you don't believe me, but... I am sorry about yesterday. Right, Belle. Gonna get you to school now. <laughs> Morning, son. Right, morning, Dad. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Off to school. Of course you are. Stupid question out. Debbie's 15. You should never have allowed yourself to get involved. Who are you to talk about relationships? Why does everyone think they can barge you here and tell me what to do? Because it's getting out of hand. <sighs> but I love her. I really do love her. I can't condone what's happened, Andy. I didn't want to fall in love with her. It just happened. Do you know how hard it is running this place? Trying to bring Daz up on my own? Debbie was just like a breath of fresh air. I don't care whether you believe me or not. Something clicked between us. Something that I thought I'd never feel again after Katie. She made me happy. And what kind of happiness do you think you'd get if you'd carried on seeing her? The Dingles would destroy everything. And you've got responsibilities to think about. Do you not think I know that? Every time I walk through that yard and I see another job that needs doing, or another bill that I can't afford, or when Daz wants a pair of trainers or a computer game, I get my responsibilities round down my throat every single day. So I do know how serious this whole mess is. But you've got a choice to make. Yeah, and I have. It's over. I don't know what Zach told you, but I didn't invite Debbie around. She just turned up desperate to see me. Wanted us to be together. Do you know how hard it was to turn her away? To not grab hold of her and run? Well, you did the right thing, lad. Yeah, I know I did. Even if she does think that I hate her. But why don't I help you out here? Maybe I'm not very good at relationships, but I'm a good farmer. They're not lipsticks. What? You don't have to choose which one goes best with your outfit. They all do the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm getting them for a mate. I don't know which one she wants, do I? Like I say, they all do the same. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. You know that there are people that can help? This, um, friend of yours, I mean. Yeah, right, whatever. I could put you in touch with some groups that specialise... How places. much? I'll, um, I'll just pop in a couple of leaflets for her to read anyway, so she knows there are people who can help. It's a false alarm. Then she can throw them away. Fourteen fifty, please. Charles, what's up? Why should I live here as well? Charles, is he giving you a chip? What are you going to do if I am? I'll give you a good slap if you don't button it. You can't. <laughs> well, it wouldn't look very good in the playground, would it, being beaten up by a girl? I'd be more bothered about catching something. You cheeky kid! Yeah, come here! Yeah, another time, then. You all right? Yeah, thanks for that. I can't be doing that little squirt today. Yeah, so I can see. Look, start working a minute, I'll buy you a drink, eh? No, I can't. Oh, what? Busy schedule? Nothing. Good. Come on, then. Come on, why the long face? You're still moping about Andy? 
You can't follow me, you know. I'll just leave it, Chaz. Right, I'm sorry. There's no need to jump down my throat. I need the toilet. another drink. Just forget about him. He's not worth it. Yeah, you're right. You're just like all the rest. You know what? I can't believe I thought your dad was a labourer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You'll get over it. Oh, yeah. Great. Um, excuse me, can I get a twist of lemon in this? Sorry, love. We don't do twists in here, only slices. I'm sure a slice will be fine. Terrific. I'll cut it myself. She always this friendly. Oi, listen to the attitude. Sorry, I just don't like snobby cows. Yeah, well, she's a paying customer and this is a public house. I can't afford to drop the price. Then can you make the improvements? <sighs> not yet. Let me get you another drink. Is she not going to take out my rent? No. What on earth do you take me for? <laughs> Davy was really upset. I can't let you leave work chairs. Not with Bob the way he is. Right, that's it. I've had enough. Eesh. So much smells gorgeous. <laughs> nice one, Emily. <laughs> <sighs> Emily? Hmm. Oh, nice day at school. Yeah, and before you ask, I did go. Hey, I know, I trust you. Well, good, because I won't waste another second on a loser like Andy. Well, I'm glad to hear it. There's always plenty more fish in the sea. Isn't that right, Chaz? Oh, yeah. Do you want some cake? No, Tar. I've got to get back. I just came to see if you're all right. Why shouldn't I be? Oh, so I didn't see you earlier leave the pub all upset over Andy Sugden, then? Yeah, well, I've had a good talk to myself. And that's it, is it? Suddenly you're over him? Like I said, he's not worth bothering with. So from now on, I don't care about him or anything else. 